my name is Abby Tian. I'm a current sophomore at Clements High School in Sugarland. Thank you for taking a few minutes to listen to my message. I would like to share with you something that you can do today to help make a huge impact on someone's life. Presently, I'm working on a project for cancer awareness that I wanted to share about. This is an eight-year-old friend of mine who attends Austin Parkway Elementary. I've known her and her brother Jerry since she was one year old. She loves telling jokes and molding animals with Play-Doh. <coughs> what did one volcano say to the other volcano? I love you. But shortly after the pandemic started, Lillian was diagnosed with leukemia. Could you imagine such a happy child so close to having her future permanently cut short? To make things worse, Lillian's only sibling, her older brother Jerry, was also diagnosed with the same cancer when he was three. With both of their children sick with cancer, this family was completely devastated. Cancer isn't just a disease that old people are diagnosed with. Before age 20, one in every 300 people will be diagnosed with cancer. That means each year, thousands of kids in the U.S. will be diagnosed with cancer. For children with leukemia, there's both good and bad news. If they receive a donation of bone marrow from a healthy donor who's also a good match, their chances of survival and being cured are high. The bad news is that the chances of these children finding a good match is low. If someone is diagnosed with leukemia, their best hope to find a match is from their family but only 30% of patients will find a good genetic match within their families, and the other 70% depend on a database of strangers. The problem is that only 2% of the American population is in this database, and only one in 430 registered donors from this database will actually go on to donate. As a result, thousands of people will die each year because they cannot find a suitable match. The chances are even worse for minorities such as Latinos, Asian Americans and African Americans, and the chances of finding a match can be as low as 29% or possibly lower if you're multiracial. The idea of being a bone marrow donor might be a scary concept to you, but it's actually a very simple process and has very little impact on your health. Most of the time, stem cells can be extracted from your blood and your bone marrow itself remains untouched. But even if some of your bone marrow is extracted, it will naturally and fully regenerate. This is a problem that you can help to solve. People under 18 can join the pre-registry. If you're already 18 or older, you can directly join the registry. Spreading awareness and encouraging people you know to register are also ways you can contribute, especially if you have a health problem that prevents you from donating. You must, between, you must be between the ages of 18 and 40 to donate, and studies have shown that donations from younger adults have a greater chance of long-term success. I also have a website with lots of information, statistics, and frequently asked questions about the donation process. It has personal stories about people whose lives were saved by generous donors. You can find these resources along with a registration link at marrowdonationsmatter.info. Additionally, if you would like to support the website and keep it public, any donation is appreciated. As you watch this video, there are thousands of people out there being diagnosed with leukemia and other blood diseases. Their, their fights against these diseases shouldn't be stopped by something so small. Expand the registry and with your help, we can change the futures for kids across the country and even across the globe. Save the life of the boy who lives next door or the kid who like, lives down the street. Leukemia and other blood diseases aren't rare. They're very real and very deadly problems that affect real people in our lives. Let's not allow the children of our communities to die because they're, they couldn't find a good match in the database. Someone who could save their life is out there, but they might not know about this registry. Take a few minutes out of your day to spread the word about the importance of donating bone marrow and join yourself if you can. Thank you.